Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Tim? Just how you feeling? First of all, thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for all the positive energy that you bring when you come here. Thank you just for you being you. Again, this is not just a channel. This is a community of collectors who talk about things concerning collecting. Fam, a lot of people say, uh, I can't believe you sitting here and, you know, doing too much. You know, you talking about Haslabs, you talking about the Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, and, you know, the charger that glows in the dark, and, you know, it's remote control, it's die cast, and he sticks to the top of the car, and he's a magnet, which is none of it. None of that is what's going on. Fam, I'm going to say so. I know you said, hey, you beating the horse. No, I'm not. What we expected was the ghost rider on the horse you know that head was on fire you know he's wearing a hat you know you see it in the thumbnail then you expected the ghost rider on the bike you know i expected all three of them for 350 hell you could even stretch it and went to damn near 450 but you know what people got to get a bang for their buck everybody always said that unk you expecting too much we're not expecting enough now, someone put in the comment section, like, you know that Nerf guns got uh, mechanisms inside, electronics and every damn thing else. And a lot of them sell for less than 50 damn dollars. Some of them 60 at the most. Fam, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I said, self, what would make any damn body out here pay that much of money for something that actually doesn't do anything? Like I said, if it was a remote control, it'd, that'd be some. But I'm like, since it doesn't move per se, you know, it might roll when you take all the effects off. But like I'm saying, damn, you really, man, fam, I'm, look, I'm just pissed the fuck off. Let's just be, let's call it honest, man. I think we should have got three Ghost Riders for that damn price. You know what? It don't take that much to put lights inside of a damn car. I have seen it done on damn near Buzz Lightyear and every other damn line. Why on this particular line, every damn thing got to cost so damn much? And it's not like it's being made in the U.S. It's being made overseas where they have sweatshops, where these people ain't making a lot of money. They may make five damn dollars in a week, if that much. I'm not sure, and I'm not, don't quote me on that, but... I don't know the sweatshop wages right now. So I'm just saying, it's real. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, they're condoning sweatshops, but every country has laws. And if your laws doesn't do anything to prevent this, then how are they wrong? This is why you get a lot of product being, how you say, unauthorized. You know, like, you get a lot of Marvel Legends and you get G.I. Joe classified figures before they hit the market. Why? Because these companies, once they make them for the companies they're making them for, they're making them for other companies too. I mean, for the, you know, to pirate them. Why not? Fam, I felt let down. I felt $350 damn dollars. I was looking at the prices they charge for the Sentinel, um, Galactus, uh, the Transformer, a lot of the other stuff. And I'm just looking at those prices. You could have charged us a price and brung all of that, incorporated all that into it. Even if you were to say $500 for all three, I bet you would have broke records with that one. Why? Because people see the bang for the damn buck. You know, just really. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is going to be stationary. You know, nobody going to be playing with the car every day. Nobody going to be playing with the motorcycle. Nobody going to be playing with the horse. It's going to sit on the shelf after a while, after the novelty wears off. I mean, you know what? Give us what we ask. I think we don't ask for enough. That's the problem with us. We don't ask for enough. We ask for the minimum, then we, we expect much more later. See, the thing is, they got away with doing a minimum. Now, all of a sudden, you know, people catching on and getting angry and talking about I ain't getting you my damn money. They're getting upset. Now, they thought they would breeze through this and they thought they would fly through and they thought they would have broke records the first day like they did with the HasLab um, G.I. Joe situation. 
But you know what? I don't even say the has left G.I. Joe situation there one day. I don't know how how many you know how long it did, but I'm gonna say this is not that. You took something that had a lukewarm situation about it. Like I said, if you would have did all three for five hundred dollars, you would have had more takers. You would have had more buyers. You would have had more people jumping on the bandwagon just to get it because they see all three and they see a deal. Even though, like I said, all of this is nothing but plastic. People are saying that plastic is expensive right now. And no, it's not. All these toys are made of plastic. Those Nerf guns are made of plastic. There's no delay in Nerf guns. Nerf guns are selling like hotcakes. Why? It's just the resale on Nerf guns that's horrible. You know, you can sell them, but the resale, you know, and right now, Nerf guns don't really sell until it's Christmas time. So I'm looking, and I said the HasLab, you know, situation, the car is a little big, you know, uh, you know, people like, well, Mephisto, Blackheart, and this other person, you know, and people say, hey, you expect too much, you know, in the comics, Mephisto is like seven feet tall or six feet something, and look, when you're paying 350 you expect something, you know, a car with a light in it that the door is open, how much are these Maisto cars? Let's let's get real. Let's 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 look at a Maestro car. Let me show you something. Just you know to keep it one hundred. So, man, this Maestro car right here, right? The I mean the hood opens, the trunk opens, the doors open, and the wheels move so it rolls. All of this for like 17 damn dollars. And most of this car is dyke ass. So, I'm kind of confused. You know, like I said, you know, I may not know a lot about everything, but when you start looking at the overall situation and start looking at how you feel after the situation, you feel some kind of way. Anytime a die-cast car like Maestro's is made for 20 damn dollars, I mean, selling for 20, and you tell me all you did was add some lights inside the car, the wheels on this car already move. The car rolls. But you told me you added some lights on it and, you know, some mechanisms if you put the rider in and put his head back on the thing and his head lights up. Fam, you telling me all of that Cost it three fifty. No, see that's where we got it wrong. At all of that cost it damn near seventy five damn dollars. It's made overseas for a little bit of nothing. Now you telling me that we paying an arm and a leg for nothing? Seventy five dollars, twenty something for the figure. That's a hundred bucks. So where's the other two fifty going? Where is the other two fifty? This is why I said we needed to add those other riders in because we needed to add the horse rider and you know the ghost rider with the horse we needed to add it the ghost rider with the bike you know what we could have had them all it could have been something big for this holiday season but you know what a lot of these companies don't see the big picture to afterwards to after people point out all the shit they did wrong and they sitting there trying to come up with something to get you in you know what you can't get people in and you ain't got nothing to bring them in you telling me a sixteen damn dollar, sixteen seventeen dollar car from Costco, which nine times out of ten looks better. All they're doing is making it bigger, fam, and that's it. And that's what I'm looking at. This could have been a hell of a lot better. The situation could have been in a better way. It's just they playing us. It's all a money grab. It's all to keep grabbing your money in this fourth quarter. You get charged once this thing is funded by November. So all of a sudden now you look in some kind of way and feeling some kind of way. But to later fam, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.